Okay, y'all, so first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna show you how to do this problem. Uh, I already showed you in one video how to do it by hand. I'm gonna show you now how to do this using your calculator, okay? So here's my system of equations. The first thing I'm gonna do here, y'all, I'm gonna rewrite it so that these numbers need to be moved to the other side. So I have an x, a plus y, a minus z equals a negative two. Make sure that looks like a negative two, not a negative z negative 2, and then a 2x minus y plus z, excuse me, equals a negative 5, and then an x minus 2y plus 3z equals a positive 4. So I'm just moving each of those terms over. Remember, when we move them over, the sign of our numbers change, right? Okay, so now, uh, let's see, we're going to find our matrix D, okay? Now, remember, our matrix D, y'all, is just the coefficients of the numbers in front of the X, Y's, and Z's, right? So my D matrix, y'all, or my D determinant is going to look like this. Remember, the numbers here are 1, 1, that's a negative 1. So 1, 1, negative 1, okay? So 1, 1, negative 1, okay? Second one is 2, negative 1, and positive 1, so 2, negative 1, and positive 1. And my third one is 1, negative 2, and 3. So 1, negative 2, and 3. Okay, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to enter this part into my calculator. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to grab my calculator app right here. Okay. I want to get to the matrix button. So if you look uh, from where the y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 down, you have a little x to the negative 1. Right above it, it says, second, it says matrix. So you're going to go second matrix, okay? So, uh, y'all, if you've done matrices before, you can see I have some here. You can edit them. If you've never done it before, you're still going to select edit, and you're going to select, say, in my case, because uh, D and E and F and G, those don't have anything, I'm going to select D, okay? First thing it's asked me, how many rows do I have? Well, I have three rows, enter. How many columns do I have? I have three columns, okay? Now, Notice how I have these zeros all over the place. I'm going to enter my numbers in as I see them, and I'm going to go from left to right. So 1, 1, and negative 1, okay? So I'm going to go 1, enter, 1, enter, negative 1, enter. Then the second row is going to be 2, negative 1, and 1. So 2, enter, negative 1, enter, and 1, enter. And then my third one is going to be 1, negative 2, and 3, okay? So 1, enter, negative 2, enter, and 3, enter. Okay, now I want to get out of here. So the way I got in here is I'm going to go second and quit. It's the button that says mode right above it. It says quit. Okay, I need to get back to my matrix. So remember, second matrix, right? Now we're going to do some math. We're going to find the determinant of, I need to get back to matrix, so second matrix. We just did this with matrix D, okay? And the number that I'm coming up with here is negative 3, okay? So when we found the determinant, y'all, the number we came up with was a negative 3, okay? Now, we're going to find a second matrix. We're going to find our DX matrix, okay? So notice, here's my DX matrix. Guys, notice what they did. Instead of the numbers in front of the X's, they used these numbers right over here, okay? So look, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back. I need to use negative two, negative five, and four, okay? So negative two, negative five, and four, right? Those are the numbers that I have right here, okay? Now, the second part of my matrix still has the B's and the C's, which were the same numbers that I used over here. So I'm still going to use these numbers going across. So I'm still going to put a 1 and a negative 1, okay, and a negative 1 and a 1, and a negative 2 and a 3, okay. Now I want to find the determinant of this matrix. So i got to enter this matrix in. So let's do that in the calculator. Let's come back over here, okay. We're going to go to calculate. So we're going to go second matrix, okay. Guys, if you want to edit one of the matrices you have, you can do that. If you want to type in a new one, type in a new one, right? I'm going to edit mine. I'm going to edit A, okay? Oops, sorry. Second matrix, I need to edit A. How many rows do I have? Three. How many columns do I have? Three, okay?
okay? And I'm going to type my numbers in. So negative 2, 1, negative 1. So negative 2, enter 1, enter negative 1, enter. Uh, let's see. Negative 5, negative 1 and 1. So negative 5, enter, negative 1, enter, and 1, enter. And finally, 4, negative 2, and 3. So 4, enter, negative 2, enter, and 3, enter. Okay, I got to quit it, so second quit. Second matrix, I'm going to do math, determinant. Second matrix again, this was my matrix A. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm coming up with the number 7. So right here, I'm coming up with the number 7. So my x value is going to be the dx number that we had, 7, over the d number, which was negative 3. And if you remember from the other video, that's the same answer that we got, right? I want to say that we did, I did it over here. 7 over negative 3, same way, whether I do it by hand or I use my calculator, right? I'm going to come up with the same thing. So anyway, just two different ways of doing the same problem, okay? Calculator are obviously a lot easier for some people. Some people, you know, it's too much to enter in. Hey, do it by hand. It's not that bad, okay? Y'all got questions? Let me know.